Hey guys, I'm Veronica Merrill, uh, one half of the Merrill Twins, and I am finally doing the highly requested Veronica Merrill's makeup routine. <laughs> Nessa did her makeup routine, so if you guys want to see how she does her makeup, you can watch it here at the eye thing. The is it over here? I don't know where. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting to see my makeup routine, so I'm going to do my daily makeup routine. I like to put my hair up, and Nessa was so kind to buy me one of these little kitty headbands. Looking like a cat now. Before I do anything to my face, I always use Aveeno lotion. The only lotion that like really works for me is Aveeno lotion. And I've been using this for years, and it's, I just only use the daily moisturizing one. Okay, so now we're gonna put on some primer. The professional one from Benefit, it gets rid of the pores. So I'm gonna put that here, and we'll put some right there. And we'll put some right there, and then the rest on my nose. Massage it into where you have issues with them pores. Cause them pores like to show when you put makeup on. So now, y'all are gonna think I'm even more crazy. I'm gonna put another primer on. The Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer on because this stuff makes my foundation last long all day. I'm gonna rub that in. And like surprisingly, it always mixes really well with the professional one. I am a perfectionist when it comes to makeup and I get very insecure about certain things like and how to do it. I just don't like throw it on. I'm like very precise about certain things. So you'll see what I mean by that. The next thing I use with my watchy you know, watch um, is a Smashbox uh, foundation. I love their foundation and the primer that goes with it because it just it just works with my skin. So this is when it comes to me being very picky and insecure about my makeup. I hate makeup lines. Like if my skin is a different color than the foundation, I just hate it. So um, I got two shades and I mixed these together. Oh shoot, I need some powder. Vanessa has my powder. She's upstairs. I mean, I could just go and like watch me have to go up there oh, and be a human and like not be lazy. Oh my gosh, she, she never answers her phone. No answer. Wow, I'll be back. Jesus! I decided that instead of saying like, Jesus, or like, geez, or like, Jesus, like, say cheese it. Cheese it! It sounds the same. All right, so now I'm gonna put um, some foundation on my finger. I mean, my hand. I don't know my body parts, so yeah, I'm gonna just like, you know, get it all up in there. Wow, that was a lot. So then, you see, I got, got those two shades, and then we're just gonna, you know, blend it all together like this. Mix it. It's about time I called you and you didn't answer. I Thank you. I sleep on your bed. Oh, but I have quite a few acne scars, and I have a little friend right here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. But yeah, um,. They kind of look like freckles on the camera, but um, I got some bad acne scars. And if you want, I can make a video about like my experience with acne and like acne scars and dealing with them and how I get like rid of them sometimes. Keyword sometimes, um, because I'm more than happy to share that. I have very sensitive skin. I got dry and oily skin all together. I just got a mixture of it all, and so. I'm going through a very hormonal time in my life where I get lots of pimples and I can't eat coffee. I mean, drink coffee. <laughs> I got some leftover because a lot of it soaks into the sponge, but we're going to take it and we're just going to draw it on the neck. This is not my neck. Is it my neck? My jawline. That's it. I'm going to do it on my jawline. I'm going to dab away at the makeup at where my smile lines would be because I hate smile lines and I cannot, there's like no way to get rid of smile lines. Okay, so the next step, depending on how quickly I need to be doing my makeup, I put bronzer on. I know a lot of people do this step after, like they do all their eye makeup, but um, I, I either use this powder bronzer from NARS, it's the same one that Nessa uses, 
or I take this contouring palette and I use the, oh, this looks nasty. I'm a clean person. And so um, I use this and this, these two colors to like give myself some bronze. And I don't, I don't use this to like shape my face. I was once told that like, when you contour, you're basically trying to make yourself look older by giving you cheekbones because when you grow older, like your cheekbones, like the skin on your face starts to sag more, exposing your cheekbones more. And then I was like, why would I want to do that? Why do I want to expose my cheekbones more? I don't. And so I just, I only put bronzer on to give my face color because otherwise I'm very, very pale without it. And I don't like to be pale. I kind of like to have some color in my face. I'm gonna do this, but first I'm actually gonna put some powder under my eyes with the Laura Mercier. So we're just gonna do, we're gonna do my under eyes first before I powder my whole face, cause I hate oily. I just like hate this texture. Like I, I just, I can't stand it. And then just lightly go over it with a fluffy eyeshadow brush, cause I, I ain't got money to buy me expensive brushes. I went up my nose. I'm gonna take my contouring palette and we're going, you know, what is dip it in there. We're gonna go right here on my actual cheekbone because I kind of learned this trick from someone rather than just like putting it all over like where you should be putting it to make it look like you're like older, but like I'm um, just putting color. See, look, color. And so now you can't forget the forehead. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot. We don't want that much. Okay, we can blend it. So yeah, there we go. There's the bronzer. I love touching my face, even though you're not supposed to. I just like, I have to put powder on it or else I will feel very insecure. And then you're just gonna go, <laughs> just gonna dab it on there. Dab. <laughs> just dab it all over my face. Ah, uh, you know, you kind of like take this moment to like massage your face with the brush. Ooh, that feels good. Guys, makeup, this is another reason why I love makeup. Like, you just get to touch your face with, like, fluffy brushes. Do you know how good fluffy brushes feel on your face? They feel amazing. Next, I'm going to um, put on some blush. Oh, oh yeah. NARS has some interesting names. Like, like this one. This is called Laguna, but that's not that interesting. Their blushes are interesting. They're most, like... Pop, oh my gosh, if, you, if you're a girl and you know what I'm talking about, I'm, you, I, this is called, oh, it's so bad, why would you name this? I remember getting this thinking, oh my God, my mom's gonna kill me. This is the color, but it's beautiful, look at that. Oh, that's a nice shade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I love blush too, blush is great. I like to, get out all the powder and like foundation on my eyebrows using my disgusting makeup uh, remover uh, towel. I'll do this again after the eyeshadow because eyeshadow makes my eyebrows dusty. I'm gonna use my finger from the for the peach palette from Too Faced and I'm just gonna spread that all over. Oh, this is so pretty. And for some reason it goes way better on it goes better on when you like use your finger rather than a brush. Well, this color. Go on the bottom line, bottom part. Boop. Now, I'm gonna use one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes of all time. These two are from the same same uh, makeup brand, Velvet 59. They're kind of expensive, but definitely worth it. They're vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, and paraben-free. And look at these colors. Ah, I love them. No, I'm just gonna. Get all up in that crease. Oh yeah, and then also, I wanna take peaches and cream, sweeter than sweet, chocolate cheeks, chocolate winks. And now, cause I wanna go a little darker, I'm gonna put uh, the Sake Plum, but I'm just gonna put barely any, cause there's been many days where I accidentally like, get a ton on there. I'm just gonna put it right there in the outer corner. Oh, and these, they're really pigmented too, that's why I like them. I've had this palette for so long. And now we're gonna take the other end of this, 
Then, and we're going to um, take these two colors again and just go on the under eye. Because if I don't do my under eyes, I still look very young. And it's not that I don't like looking young. I still look young with my makeup on. So then we're going to take the darker one and just kind of go in from the out. And then we're going to take that dark one again. And we're going to use the dark eyeshadow as an eyeliner. We're going to take my... I'm the worst makeup person ever. <laughs> eyelash curler. We're gonna take my eyelash curler and we're gonna like curl my eyelashes. <laughs> Cause that's what you do with an eyelash curler. So when I curl my eyelashes, I like to like start from the root and just kind of go out like that. I don't know if you saw what I did. But it just kind of gives it this like natural curl already. I love waterproof mascara because waterproof mascara just holds my eyelashes up more rather than um, just normal mascara. I really like the color of this one, but I really like the brush on this one. And like, I can't really like stick one in the other because like it doesn't work that way. You can always tell the difference between waterproof mascara versus like normal mascara. Like normal mascara has this weird smell to it. But waterproof has like less of that smell. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, see that brush is so nice. Okay. And it just does separate them all. <gasps> no! No. <gasps> okay, saved that one. Voila! Am I beautiful now? Now we're gonna do the other eye. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do the bottom lashes later. So yeah, we're gonna do the same thing. Have you ever like hid them under your eye? Hello. <laughs> Let's do the bottom lashes. Tiger. So this is the point in my makeup routine where I focus on the lips. I like to put on chapstick, um, like Vaseline, Aquaphor, whatever that stuff is. But this is a lip balm. And it says, peaches and cream, sweeter than sweet, chocolate cheeks, chocolate wings. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean, dead men tell no tales, um, Lorax, uh, edition, Pirates of the Caribbean edition. Ah, sorry if I have like attitude, I'm kinda tired. Kind of gives it a nude lip look. When you're putting on matte lipsticks, I always like to put like chapstick on under. Cause it just kind of like helps. So there's that. Sorry I keep looking on there. But there, there's that color. And then it comes with a little like, um, lip gloss. Nessa uses the lip glosses a lot. And just only this color. Mm hmm. That is our my makeup routine. Um, go watch Nessa's makeup routine if you haven't. Also subscribe to more Meryl. We will be doing a lot of other beauty stuff here on this channel. Um, so let us know in the comments what you what guys want to see. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, Meryl Twins and Meryl Twins Live channel, where we do broadcasts every week. Um, check out some of the other videos we've done and let us know what you want to see more on this channel. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. I just hit myself in the face. Bye.